Hi, and welcome to Aussie Kicks on today's show. Well, we're back working on the Brat, finally. Yes, it's been over a month. I know things have been a bit manic. So today we're gonna paint up the body, get it all finished, do all the front detail, the rear, and then paint up the driver and hopefully finish it all off. Hold on, I forgot to say, this is not the first video in the Brat series. There's actually two others. There's an unboxing and then there's a chassis build. So if you haven't seen those, stop what you're doing, go over here, watch those first and then come back. Sorry about that. Right, let's carry on. And then maybe take it for a gentle drive so I don't roll it over and smash up all my work. Right, so the first thing we've got to do is primer it. So I'm going to primer it in white, then I'm going to paint it box art red. Well, close enough. I went down to the local uh, car shop to pick up some red paint. I tried to look for a Subaru red, didn't have any, so I just picked up a Hyundai electric red. Pretty much the same kind of red that I painted my truck. I like it to be quite vibrant. And then some clear to clear lacquer it after that. So first thing we've got to do, wash the body out and then primer it up. Right, so the first thing we've got to do is remove all the burrs, then we can paint it white. Now, being that it's white already, it doesn't look like we actually achieve much, but we're gonna prime it in white anyway. Now, I don't like these gaps in the bar, so I'm gonna fill them with car filler, sand it down, and it will look fine. That's a couple of layers of primer, then we put on the red. As you can see, a bit pink for me, so I do change it and I'll explain it later on. Now I thought, hey, why not push the boat out a little bit and I will actually color code the center section of the roof plate. That way it looks like they're hatches that would open like the real car. Wasn't too sure about the front, how to do that, so I just painted it all black and then added the detail on top of that. The centre sections of the bumper are silver, so we had to mask up to paint them. I found doing the window rubbers was probably one of the most tedious jobs. So believe it or not, it's two days on from the intro of this video and things, yeah, not going to plan. Well, I'm, I'm back on track, but I'll explain the nightmare that happened. Basically, on this body, you glue this panel onto the back. It's the back window. There's no bolts. And you put a little tiny bit of glue in the recess and then you stick it on. Well, I put just a little bit too much and it oozed out and the glue I used wasn't that great either. It oozed out onto the paintwork. Now, once you get glue on paintwork, it's basically finished. You've got to spray it in. So I sanded it down and then I masked off the body just to blow in that section at the back. The problem was earlier that day, about four hours earlier, I'd actually lacquered the bonnet again just to get it as smooth as I could. And then when I put the masking tape on it, it transferred it onto the actual car when I pulled the body, when I pulled the masking tape off the body, I'd actually got it all over. So I had to repaint it. So I had to dismantle the driver section. Then I had to repaint it. Now I'd run out of paint. Also the paint that I bought in the first place, I didn't like it, it's too pinky. So I actually had a little bit left over from when I did the truck. So I used that and I liked it, but I didn't have enough. Basically I put two or three coats of the other red down and then blew over the top of it with what I had left. But it means I had to start all over again. So I rubbed it down a little bit. Then I had to nip to the garage again to get another can of the correct color that I'm happy with. And luckily it was open for another 30 minutes so I managed to get one and I sorted it out last night. Unfortunately the video I thought was gonna come out yesterday because of this, it didn't. But we're back on track again. Now I've ordered a replacement one of these and that's coming because I don't wanna use this again because I've got some super glue on the windows and super gluey stuff glue. It's not, it's cement stuff, it's um, what is it? It's uh, poly cement. Hate the stuff. 
doesn't work for me. Um, and I've got it on the plastic as well, so they're toast, that's toast. Even though I've cleaned it up a little bit for today, it'll, I'll, I'll just have it sitting up against the back. But when a new one comes, I will actually finish it off. So today we're basically putting it together and then we're gonna put the decals on. The front and rear are almost done as well, so we're getting closer, so we're definitely gonna get it finished. Next, we have gotta do is put all the driver cockpit back in it, and then we have gotta start on the decals. So let's crack on and get this nightmare finished. I put down some white on the indicators so that I could then start laying down a couple of layers of the orange to make them pop. Then we turn our attention to the body, I masked it up, sprayed the background in black. Sometimes I paint it with a paintbrush, but then you can see the stripes. So I thought, hey, this time I'll mask it off. Couple of layers. As for painting faces, I am not that good at all. So I can't really recommend anything. This is just me messing about. Now it starts to come together. We start putting all the parts on, having to be very careful. Obviously, I don't want to damage the red paint again. In a few weeks, I'll probably tea cut and wax the body and that should bring it out in a nice shine, but I wanna give it time to harden. Now, as it starts to come together, I get a bit of extra enthusiasm as it starts to take shape, especially when I start to add a few decals, it all kind of comes to life. Up to that point, it's been a bit of a hard slog. All in all, it's a classic Tamiya and it's just as beautiful in real life. I can highly recommend this kit. It screams retro and believe it or not, it actually drives quite well for a two wheel drive. Even though this is supposed to be four wheel drive, but we'll gloss over that. Well, three days later and we finally have a finished Brat. Yes, it didn't go well, but we got there in the end. Now, there is a few things that are a little bit strange. In the kit that I got, you get a polycarbonate body and you get the hard body and a set of decals. Now, I was gonna put the decals on the side of this, but I just didn't find they fit very well. You've got to cut out all the sections for this bit here and then this bit around here. And I just decided to make my own decals. So the decals that you can see right now are ones that I've actually made apart from the one that goes up and over. You can tell because the sticker that comes with the actual kit, the gold comes up higher and kind of almost joins this bit here. But overall, I'm happy with it. I also added a white line along the bottom to try and tie it into the white wheels and the white roll bar. So yeah, that took quite a while as you can imagine, but I'm happy with the result and it looks looks nice and neat and sharp so i'm really chuffed with that so there's a few things that took a lot longer than i thought i've obviously got rid of all the joins on the ball bars so i've sanded them down filled them and then primed it and painted it then i went a bit to town on the actual top windows by doing a color through the middle and um, where a lot of people just fit it as it is then i sprayed the front bumper as well and uh, basically used the stickers that come with the tab for the lights you would think that they would be actually some plastic things that you clip on there but they're not they're straight from the stickers so most of what you see here is what stickers that i've actually made uh, overall, yes, a pretty nice build if you don't make mistakes like me. Yeah, painting it all one color is not so bad. Going around the windows does take quite a bit of effort. One thing that I found that worked really well, if you paint the body and then you clear it, then you do around the windows. If you go onto the paint a little bit, just leave it. Once it dries, take some tea cut, some body car tea cut, and you can actually remove it and it's fine because the clear coat's there the black is on top of the clear coat you can cut it off so that's a tip don't wipe it whatever you do if you get it over there don't take a rag and quickly try and wipe it away because it doesn't work it actually marks the paint but if you leave it to dry you can remove it there's a little tip that would have saved me a lot of messing around um but overall it's absolutely beautiful the driver came out reasonably well for my level of artistic interpretation 
Um, but I love it. Absolutely love it. But my God, what a couple of days. Anyway, let's take it out and give it a bit of a blast. And try not to crash it. Yeah. 